Sack Fit people and welcome to Sound 88, your place to get the confidence to try things yourself. My name is Henry Frank, I'm a music producer and graphic designer and welcome to the show. Today's topic is about the importance of multitasking. And man, if you're, if you're a dad, if you're a husband and you have a family, chances are you probably know how to multitask but you might not think that you can multitask at the level of a ceo and so forth or a label owner and music producer slash artist slash business owner but you can you can and and, and what i'm here to do is to try to explain how you might be so good at doing something on an everyday basis and you you feel like that's your responsibility i mean that's you know if you're a dad that you have to provide for your kids and if you're a husband you have to be there for your wife or vice versa but reality is it's nothing different when it comes to business now there's some tweaks to it if you are in business you got to make sure that you know you try to push your sales or whatever area that you need to improve you have to focus on that of course but what i'm trying to say is if you have some doubt as to whether or not you can actually multitask effectively just wheel back for a little bit okay um now with what i'm doing right i have my daytime job as a financial analyst i um i recently graduated my mba going now uh to the phd program uh while i was doing that i started the whole music thing as an artist I've been a producer, you know, for a few years, but uh, never really pushed it seriously the way I, I'm trying now. Um, but I've been fortunate enough uh, the last two months, I landed 19 sync licensing agreements. I granted sync licensing agreements. It's like getting getting accepted to college. Doesn't mean you, you will necessarily graduate, but at least if you're in college, you have, you have a path, a clear path of where you're trying to go, right? So that's what I'm super excited about for those licensing agreement. No placement yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. And hopefully if I get one or two or three, and hopefully I can, I can, you know, dig it from there, really. But the, the point is how to multitask in, in whatever you do, particularly music, okay? I think it's important to at least, even if you don't dive into it, at least take a look at certain areas of what your favorite artists they're doing. Let's say you have Kanye West, and it's, it's very important um, to for me to use Kanye in that in, in that area because um, I remember this one interview with with Kanye and and uh, it was Sway, uh, popular interview. And there's something he said that resonated with me while I was trying to, uh, you know, get my clothing brand and shoe design company off the ground. I felt like, am I doing too much? And I felt like, you know, technically speaking, I probably am doing too much, but I want to learn how to multitask all these areas, at least to lay the, 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 groundwork or have at least have a blueprint to what i want to do um and eventually if one or two or three start taking off i have a i have a whole quote-unquote master plan for you know to try to tackle every area and kanye in his interview said to sway when he started yeezy and all that and he was telling him how it was so complicated for him to get into the whole you know clothing and shoe industry that there's so much that he had to learn from scratch really besides just being a fan of, of fashion but when he really started getting into that he had to literally learn pretty much from the from the you know from scratch and that's what i'm trying to avoid there are some things that for sure, you won't know unless you actually get the opportunity to get involved in it. And there's some other things you might have the idea, hey, if I do get some type of money, I definitely would want to do this. I definitely would want to do that. These, these are the things that I 
I would love for you, if you're watching this, to take a pen and paper and write them down. Write them down. And when you have some free time, I know everybody's schedule could, you know, could be very hectic, but really it might take like five minutes, especially these days with chat GPT and so many other AI tools. Right? You know, search what does it take to start your own clothing brand? Now, some of these results might scare you. You know, whatever business you're trying to start, you're you trying to start. I, I give an example of clothing brand, but if you're an artist or you're a producer and you want to have a car show, or you or you want to be in the real estate business, or you want to have, like I mentioned, a, a clothing brand, um, not knowing nothing at all related to that, you don't need to have a degree. You don't need to have, uh, you know, ten grand in a bank or a hundred grand in a bank or even five hundred dollars in the bank. You don't need to have that to make a quick research to understand what it might take for you to get these things rolling if you get the money for it. Because let's say you get the opportunity to, let's say, sign a deal or get an investor on board or you start gaining some type of traction and you can monetize on it. Um, it's harder if you have to start from zero oh, I want to have my clothing brand and you don't even know where to start. I want to I, I start my, my own business, my own company. I don't even know where to start. As opposed to, man, I want to start my clothing brand. I did take a look at it. I did take a look at what it takes to have, you know, maybe to start as a, a drop shipping model than what it takes to have your own things in-house, how you printing, how have you... Your, your design team, or if you have to start designing yourself, it may not be perfect at first, but if you keep trying and trying to tweak things around and watching videos, I'm a big YouTuber in that sense. I learned so much from YouTube, from pretty much a lot of the things I do, I get stuck. I use YouTube. I mean, 15 years ago, I would probably not think of that if I didn't have somebody around me or I have to go to a seminar or probably read some type of article about it, I would not have the knowledge to even do them. But these days, especially with YouTube, I am I am a visual a visual learner. Some, in technicality, they say it's not really a thing, visual learner or, or listening. But point is, I love to see things for me to practice it myself and then go back and try it and watch it again and see where I did right or where I could do better. So I think it's important for you to multitask in that sense. If you are into music and you have some ideas about, man, if I do get big, I want to have my own shoe line. Just, just Google it. What does it take to have your own shoe line? You might find yourself in a position where it tells you, you probably will need 10 grand to even get into this or get into that. But chances are, man, unless you're going for something extremely technical, there's always a way to even start, at least to have a basic general knowledge about it. And for me, when I say multitask, I don't I'm not necessarily talking about you gonna have to dive into it and go all out into it, but at least have an idea, at least have a, a name for your potential company, you know, a slogan for you know, who do you see? you know yourself competing with and and what could be your target market really now you should definitely leave room for modification because you might be going one way and then you think that's where it's gonna go and then out of nowhere something else is pulling you a whole in a whole other direction and if you just focus on that one and that's it that's all you want to do it can get very tricky so if you leave room for modification for if you leave room to be able to add or remove line items within your goals it can make life much easier that's what i do right even for my clothing brand right now at some point well when i first started i only had six shoes right six designs then from six design i got all the way to i think it was 130 different items on my site and then at some point i was really excited about it man look at me i have like 130 but none of them were selling none of them were selling I, i'm being honest 
not because it's not good it's it takes time and and then on top of that i was still focusing on my day job music and doing so many other things preparing for the whole youtube thing that i i wanted to do but i started scaling down and then i start you know watching so many documentaries the one document or oh, a series of documentaries that i love watching on the history channel both either a history channel or hulu is um how to build america you know um or the f food that built america and i think is companies that built america i love watching these documentaries man they they're so motivating for me and i get to learn you know so much ins and out that that gets me to automatically go back to my business plan and business vision that i had and try to tweak things around now i went from you know like i said six shoes all the way to like a hundred and 120 plus and then finally scaled down to about 40 items which i feel very comfortable but very comfortable with but even having those 40 items i still think i can really scale it down to about 30 because i want to have a focus on shoes but how did i learn that is through all these documentaries seeing mcdonald's seeing burger king seeing coca-cola like all these companies how they had to switch things around in order to make it more effective based on demand based on uh budget you know uh really whatever the case may be my point is if you have an idea for different businesses that you might want to start in the future or you might want to have um as a goal on top of your primary goal it's really important to just dive in it and just have a little plan have a little sketch have a little you know brainstorm about it hey don't think about money first if you think about man i, I don't even want to do that because i need to have like a certain amount of don't think about money don't think about money at first just think about hey if you didn't have any money we're just talking about ideas how do you see your brand you can go very 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 high as far as you know having a super super dream trying to tackle balenciaga i know i did shout out to balenciaga but i don't know if i have to say shout out to balenciaga because you know i have a luxury line that i'm trying to release under my brand that i feel like why not you know not trying to tackle them but say hey you know i have a different i have something different you know for much lesser price but that's a whole other story point is if you don't think about money at first you might want to just you might have more and more ideas coming out because you're just trying to establish the the whole vision for your brand for your company and as you do that then you start tackling how much it might cost okay then probably a lot of times i would say those those costs will probably scare you and probably will make you step back step away from it and go back to your primary goals of doing music or producing or whatever the case may be but if you have a break if you have a general idea of what you want to do and how you want to roll it out it will give you a motivation it, at least it does for me it gives me a motivation to go harder on the things that i think i can succeed at just for me to reach those goals so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the show today and if this is your first time definitely consider to subscribe and like i always say i don't just want to ask for people to subscribe i hope i can earn a subscription from you because it will it will definitely help this channel a lot and definitely hit that like button for anybody who want to learn about or just take a look at multitasking videos um i hope they can um see this video as well and the other thing i want to mention man you know i'm not to the high level music industry guy at all i'm starting to try to get into it but um i do have my own experience to share um and that comes from you know, my day job 
being a father, a husband, and having a family, and you know, going to school full time, and working full time, and trying to do YouTube videos. So I hope you guys can um, enjoy the show and definitely let me know. Let me know any experience that you have if you started your own business and you find yourself in those crazy moments where you have to multitask in order for you to succeed. If you're the one doing artwork, design, and uh, in my case, I'm recording, I'm mixing, I'm doing my artwork i'm editing videos and i'm doing youtube videos while i'm going to full school i'm going to school full time and working full time and having a family crazy but you can do it you can do it and at least it'll get you to learn a lot about i loved i love the whole sentence know a little bit about a lot as opposed to know a lot about just a little bit here's the reason why I love to learn a lot. No, let me rephrase that. I love to learn a little bit about a lot. Once I'm done, I start narrowing certain things that I really, really like or I feel like I have the skills for. Then I get to learn a lot about that one or two or three things. But anyway, I hope you guys can let me know if you have any other topic that you would like for me to discuss. Definitely drop a comment and I hope I see you next time. Peace.